Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Anthony. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming at you guys with a brand new reaction. In today's reaction, we're coming back with Blackpink, you know, Blackpink in your area. And this is the last day of the Blackpink marathon. And, and you know, I just decided that we will end it off on Blackpink Kiss and Makeup with Dua Lipa. If you guys don't know who Dua Lipa is, she's she is a singer as well. And she went very viral for, I forgot which song it was, but, you know, it was played at the, uh, the it's, it's on the radio all the time. Uh, it's at you know like like summer smash and like all these like popular events in America and throughout the world that she performs these at So if you are new you hit that subscribe button as well because you know 5k we are super super close to 5k We are less than a hundred off. We're like about We're less than like 80 off or so we're around like, uh, you know 70 almost off so you know keep hitting that subscribe button and let's get it today on this when this video drops as well I will also will be live streaming later tonight. So make sure you know Hit the subscribe button if you want to catch my live streams. Come, come react. You know, come request some reactions, and I'll and I'll do it. And yeah, I'm excited. So let's get into it. Dua Lipa and Blackpink kiss and makeup. Throw on the headphones. Let's throw on you know the, the good quality out here. It's only 720. Okay. And yeah, let's get into this, man. Dua Lipa and Blackpink kiss and makeup. <laughs> Okay, so one thing that I see off the bat is that Dua Lipa is starting, obviously, and Blackpink hasn't really done that with any features. I don't think, I don't think Cardi B started, and I and I don't think Selena Gomez started out her her the verse either. And like I don't think that they, uh, like so I think this is the first feature that they, that they, I've reacted to where the feature has started out, and that's kind of cool because it's like setting the pay, you know, setting the way for the whole song and giving a little introduction to Dua Lipa, you know, if Blackpink fans don't know of her. So yeah. Okay, so this is another love song, you know, this is I think three or so, maybe four reactions in a row where we got another love song. Um, so, you know, Blackpink, you know, they make a lot of music about love and everything because that's just like what their whole, you know, what their whole uh, persona kind of is. It's like, that's, that's what, um, from what I've been hearing from you guys, is that's what Blackpink was when they first came out. That's what the, the label introduced them as, was these four beautiful girls who are single that are looking for love. That's kind of what they got... Um, Oh, that's what I'm looking for. That's what they kind of got, like, promoted as. Yes, that, that's what they got promoted as. So it's kind of cool, you know, how they always do this still. And, you know, Dua Lipa was taking over the first minute of the song. So let's see where the other four come in at. This sounds like a, this is like, this sounds like a club song. You know, this sounds like a song that you'll play at a club or uh, even like a movie song. Uh, but a lot of Blackpink songs sound like that they can be played in movies. Uh, but this is like a club song, you know, for sure. Uh, I, I can see this being played at like a club or a party. And 
one thing that I always say in pretty much every reaction to, to Blackpink is that the four girls are super, super talented, that they can all sing, they can all do they're literally, literally their own thing, right? They can all do their own thing, and they are super fire because Lisa is a rapper, right? She's known for the more rapping side than singing, but here she is singing a whole chorus. You know, same with Jenny. She's also a rapper, but she was singing on it too. So they can all do, they can all sing and everything, which makes this like group phenomenal because it's not just Dua Lipa on the hook. It's literally all of them have sang a part of the chorus. So yeah, another thing as well is um, these girls are just one thing that it, it, they're so unique. Like every song by them is unique because, like I, you know, bringing it back to what I said earlier, they can each do a thing. That they can do everything, right? Like they they can all sing, and that makes songs more unique because instead of just taking okay, so say if only one person in the group um, was could only sing, right? They would and so and if she was on the chorus, they take that chorus, copy and paste it over to the next part where they want their next chorus, and then they'll do it again at the end of the song if if you know if they had another chorus. But it's like everyone can literally sing a chorus, and all of them each have been singing a chorus. Rose sang the I I I part, and she's also sang a couple of the choruses. I think she's singing right here actually right now. I think they all are maybe. But Lisa has sang most of the chorus as well. Jenny has sang. Jisoo has sang the chorus. They have all sang the chorus. And that makes songs so unique and it gives more replayability instead of just copy and pasting the first chorus to every other chorus. Okay. So that was Blackpink and Dua Lipa, Kiss and Makeup, and that was that was good. Like I, I like that song. It was vibey. It was cool. It was smooth. It was bouncy. It was it was all the above. It was super super cool. I enjoy it. Um, super unique. You know, a lot of replayability in here because because like I said, all of them can. You know, they each the excuse me, they each sing a chorus, so it's a lot of replayability right there in that. So yeah, it's a cool song. Um, that's definitely cash. It's not trash. And yeah, if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, you know, um, on the road to 5k, hopefully today we'll get it. And yeah, it's been Boy Anthony, I'm out of here. Peace out.